Number 49, Randy the Rutabagas Thanks Bringing. Written by Beepa Amit. Illustrated by Beepa Amit. Photos provided by everyone. Hmm, we'll see. Randy was sitting at home thinking of how lucky he was having so many good friends. He was thankful that everyone and everything was almost back to normal. Yes, he was thankful. <clears throat> and the thought struck him. Why not let every one of his friends know that he was thankful for their friendship and company? Why not have some friends over now that it seemed that the worst of the COVID packet, pack, pandemic was over and everyone that wanted the vaccine could get the vaccine. Why not do a little extra for those wonderful little Ruta babies? And so, Randy started to come up with an ID. Why not have everybody come to Randy's house for Thanksgiving? Randy's house sure was big enough. But there was just one problem. Randy doesn't cook. Oh sure, Randy has a chef, but Randy told Chef Ramsey that he could have Thanksgiving off. So Randy thought a little more and came up with an idea. Not a crazy idea, a great idea. Instead of cooking for everyone, why not have everyone bring their favorite dish to share with everyone else? Sort of like the first Thanksgiving where the pilgrims, the Native Americans shared a meal together. Ah, remember that first Thanksgiving? Oh yes, this is a wonderful idea. So Randy set out invitations to all his friends asking them to come and share their favorite dishes. An invitation. Dear friends, I invite you to I Am Thankful Thanksgiving celebration held at my house. Please come and bring a dish to share that you are thankful for. I look forward to seeing you all. It has been too long. Randy, please join us for dinner. Time, 2 p.m. Date, November 25th. Place, one rutabaga circle, somewhere USA. Respondez-vous, s'il vous plaît, RSVP. Randy is great at apple one, oneapple.com. So, with the invitations taken care of, Randy set about to get the dining room ready for guests. Besides, he didn't need Chef Ramsay to help set the table. That's what the other help was for. Oh my, Randy does have some help. Oh, that looks nice. Randy could hardly wait. He remembered what fun Thanksgiving get-togethers were. Thanksgiving 2013. Thanksgiving 2014. 2018. 2014. 2016. 2016. 2008. 2016, 2012, and with that in mind, Randy got his house ready for the thanks bringing celebration. Randy counted down the days until finally Thanksgiving Day arrived. Randy was so excited not to, only to see his friends again, but to see what treats they brought. Oh, there's the calendar. Thanksgiving. 25th of November. At 2 p.m. on the dot, someone rang the doorbell. Come in! Beepa, right on time with a giant turkey. Woohoo! Then Addie bring her favorite chicken with chicken rice with gravy. 
Callie brings her favorite steak. Now here's where it gets tricky. You see, Beepa asked everyone to send him pictures of what they would bring. Somehow, only Addie and Callie sent the pictures in time for this special Thanksgiving 2021 story. So Beepa had to figure out what everyone else would bring. Wait till you see what they're bringing. You won't believe it. Brian Eulen experimenting with chicken stuffed with octopus on his smoker. Mm-hmm. Jen Eulen knows what little girls like. Lucky charms with beans and a pea taco. Uncle Steve sort of remembers what they served at Disney. Steak with bananas and ketchup. Aunt Anne brought her favorite from Victoria and Albert's. Whole wheat toast with caviar and cheese. Mmm-mmm. Uncle Gary thought about Portillo's and brought hot dogs with bacon, onion, and strawberry ice cream. Aunt Suda thought about bringing her famous dumplings, but instead brought bowls of chili with sushi. Cousin Nick knew this was a crowd pleaser. Candy corn pizza. Mm -hmm. And Cousin Lauren brought a Kissimmee favorite. Pancakes with hot Cheetos and syrup. Oh, the boys love it. Cousin Brian thought about what he has for lunch every day and wanted to share. Ham slices with bananas and cheese sauce. Aunt Marilee knew that a wonderful dessert was in order, but it must be healthy. How about watermelon slices with ketchup? Randy the rutabaga could hardly believe the variety and the, uh, and, uh, hmm, and the excitement that each shared dish brought to the person that brought it. That being said, Randy invited everyone to be seated. Attention, attention, please. Before we start, I would like to say two things. First, it isn't so much what's on the table that matters as what's on the chairs. And Robbie always brought three things to our Thanksgiving feast. His two girls and a big smile. So let us bow our heads and thank God for this gathering, our friends and family, whether here or near in our hearts. And God, one more thing. Watch over us as we eat these new taste treats. I think we could all use your help. Amen. Now, let's eat. The end. Or is it? The end.